ni matambudziko ni kwazao aha e baba tinoda kuti mutitauro kuti nezuru makanga muri ma deliberation zvakaitwa pakati pemutunga miri wenyika na mai mugabi mungati dzoti zvakafamba se musangane wo e maonera angu zvinhu zvakafamba zvakanaka e tinoda kutenda zvikuru kuti president vaka recognize basa rakaitwa na vha mugabi e vakabvuma kuti vavigwe pa pa Iros Eka in fact he deserved it anyway e nokuti he was a great man vanga vari munhu vanga kaita mabasa makuru we have lost he is dead um but we are consoled by the fact that he he, he left a lot of things for us taka sirwa education yakanaka taka sirwa minda taka zvakawanda you can go on and on and on nogona kutonyora book uchi rondedzera pamusoro pamapasawa kaita the other thing that also consoles us is the fact that he, he has lived his life aka uh, aka vakarara mama kore bible tonzwa kuti makore 70 ndo anorara mamunhu but makore mamwe anozodarika anongova enyasha saka ye 25 years dze makore enyasha saka we we get consoled by that mambo pano ajinji vada kunzusisa kuti pani kutaurika kwaitika kuti baba anokwanisa kuvigwa ku heroes e kanokwanisa kuvigwa kumusha mungati jikisira wera ipapo e vano vigwa zve ku heroes e kando ndiyo vakatanga heroes e kayacho saka andifungi kuti zvinenge zvine njere kuti savaviga ku heroes e kayako nokuti vakatanga vachitoziva kuti uye iwe vai koshesa zvikuru munhu wakarwa hondo vachimuita vachimupara mukume mekedzo wakakwana saka iwe vano vano kuzaiure iri nekedzo eko saka peria mukuzva tichatwari nere peria yababu inaitwa inaitwa mseso ndo sekuziva kwangu mhm inaitwa mseso ndo eh seku uronga kwatakaita eh ayo maita basa baba tokutenda alright all right we're just going to be joined uh, by Leo Mugabe the family spokesperson uh, mambo if you just step aside uh valio mugabe tinoti nematambudziko zvekare ababa uh tinongo kumbira kuti mutipo the latest update regards funeral arrangements ababa okay uh, the family and the traditional leaders have pronounced that you will be buried at national heroes sector uh, and uh, that is uh, a question that everyone else has been waiting for where is he going to be buried uh, and as to when he's going to be buried there are uh, things that the chiefs want done at heroes sector those who take time so the issues to do with um, their uh, uh, private burial i think those issues still are there Uh, they will want a private burial. Uh, Euros Eka, yes, but perhaps it will still remain private at a time to be advised. Well, so most likely is it going to be, we just spoke to the chief right now, is it going to stick to Sunday or probably we just give us more details? It's post Sunday. It's post Sunday. And I would want also to dispel the rumors that have been doing the, the rounds uh, that the chiefs were paid. They were not paid so total absolute nonsense they were not paid when we visited the president i was with them it was merely to go and thank the government for what they'd done you know to look after him during uh, his trying period when he was sick and he was not well uh, for paying all the bills and also for recognizing him as the icon of the country so we needed to go the chiefs needed to go and thank uh president mnangagwa and that they did and they were not paid and uh, there was no way they would have been paid in my eyes impossible 
Okay, just to bring you back to what you were uh, highlighting yesterday after the meeting between the President and the former First Lady, you highlighted that the, it was going to be a private uh, burial and you're also just uh, bringing us up to terms to, with that. Now the location has been found. You said yesterday that privacy means family only. Are you now going to open it up maybe to one or two government officials uh, now since it's going to be happening at uh, the National Heroes Acre? Uh, it's not for me, it's for the chiefs and uh, the traditional leaders. Uh, obviously, in the Shona culture, there's what they call Sawira. Uh, I'm sure there will be a couple of Sawiras around. Uh, they would not do anything without a Sawira being around. Yeah. Thank All right. You. Thank you so much. All right, back to you guys in the studio. That was the family spokesperson, Leo Mugabe, just giving us an update there. We now know uh, that the late uh, statesman will be buried at the National Heroes Acre, not necessarily on Sunday, as had been given as a tentative date, uh, but it will be taking place on a day to be announced later, according to uh, the family spokesperson, Leo Mugabe. Uh, so right now we've just seen uh, uh, members of... Uh, Zimbabwe Defense Forces going up into the house. Uh, the HES is ready. Uh, if you could just pan the admire so that people could see. The HES is ready to take the body uh, to Rufaro Stadium uh, for body viewing. Yesterday we saw some five provinces having an opportunity uh, to have a body viewing of uh, the former president, uh, Mugabe. Uh, and uh, this morning again, the body will go back to Rufaro for another five provinces out of the ten provinces in Harare. So we'll be keeping you up to date with what's happening. Uh, for now, it's back to you guys in the studio.
Good day and welcome to yet another day as we trick the final hours, the final days of our late former president Robert Gabriel Mugabe, who is now about to get airborne headed for Rufaro Stadium for yet another parade today. ZTN has got exclusive access and shall be going airborne following the man as he goes to meet the people at Rufaro Stadium. The body has just been ferried onto the plane. And indeed, more people today shall have that opportunity, accorded others yesterday, to view the body of the late icon and national hero. You may recall, of course, that President Mugabe died last week on Friday the 6th of September at the age of 95 in Singapore as we get an aerial view of where mourners were gathered where mourners will be gathered for quite a bit that is the blue roof this is the TN this is the coverage you've been waiting for And all across those images you see are the land over which he superintended over for 37 years. That is Zimbabwe. As we now get a view up front there of that helicopter, the one carrying the body of the late national hero. Now today's coverage and ongoing coverage is proudly sponsored by Nyarazo Group, one of uh, the leading uh, houses in Zimbabwe that offer life security. So there we were giving you exclusive images of uh, the helicopter that was carrying the body of the late for national hero and former president. My name is Robert Mkondiwa and uh, for the rest of the day today I will be taking you through events and we will be um, you know, meeting up with our teams that are on the ground. Yesterday and the day before we gave you extensive coverage of the funeral of the late the former president, and we continue to do that for you. A beautiful view there of that helicopter that everybody is waiting for at Rufaro Stadium. We've also got teams at Rufaro Stadium who are waiting for this body, a body that you now have the privilege to accompany, courtesy of our visuals. Ever the searcher, our team is really searching for a greater image to ensure that you view this coverage and get a front row seat to everything that is going on with regards to the burial and funeral of Robert Gabriel Mugabe. And that's um, a section of the people waiting at Trufaro Stadium to see the former president, 
for the parade that's going to be held there in his honor. Anytime now you see the activity there at the Rufaro Stadium, itself a cathedral of history for the nation of Zimbabwe. that land blessed be the land of Zimbabwe that is what they'll be singing about that is the land to which Robert Mugabe said we should owe our allegiance a land to which he owed his allegiance and within whose belly whose soil he too shall have his body interred as we continue to sneak in those pictures of the helicopter carrying the body of Robert Mugabe. And this is where they're waiting for that body. This is where the crowds who are gathered here shall be filing past to see the body of the icon. This is Harare, and this is your front row seat to arguably the biggest funeral ever to be held within the frontiers of this nation. And down there, they may not know who or what is flying over them, but it is history in the making. And there, we see that indeed, they have arrived. And we were seeing uh, pictures there, visuals of Rufaro Stadium from on board the chopper. And now we're seeing the chopper that is carrying the body landing. And there in the background is our chopper. And now the body has arrived here at uh, Rufaro Stadium where there are many people who are expecting it. And um, I think some have been caught unawares really because yesterday they expected a parade at one o'clock. 
and it started a bit late because of meetings that had to be held and of course our chopper is landing there it is that is the chopper that was carrying the images that you were seeing that is the chopper that was carrying your team the zim papers team because that team wants you to get the picture and the members of a religious outfit well they didn't want to miss this so they came early and presumably some people have been a bit tardy today thinking perhaps the start shall be late as it was yesterday probably runs into the belief that religious people always follow are always astute and always are alive to time as we see there an entourage of cars that is presumably carrying uh, members of the family members who shall be here at this funeral and at this parade to help superintend the start of proceedings members of the police there at hand to assist the mourners And that is a sh sh shot that shows um, more clearly his two sons, Belamai and Chetunga, who's just walked off uh, that frame, and his son, Robert Jr. And you wouldn't want to just be a part of this history alone go onto our pages go onto our social media pages start a watch party we need to celebrate the life of this icon invite people to see the best coverage of the biggest funeral ever to happen within the frontiers of our nation members of the military as the casket disembarks ready to be set under the tent where people shall file past
solemnly the body makes its way in order for proceedings to begin and remember whatever develops on the ground there at Trufaro we shall be kept privy to because we've got an team that is able and well equipped to give us that information we've got a team on the ground for whatever news breaks news that will help us know what the program will be looking like you do know it was tinkered with a little bit from what we initially had and as the is the case with funerals it is a program that we may expect to be tinkered with further as situations uh, unfold Casket is set. Turned. They had been removed, obviously, as a mark of respect. It seems those fellows are, goodness me, it's, it's quite a, a ceremony, really. Members of the family there in attendance just before the casket is opened, just before formalities begin and uh, it seems they're being taken through some bit of formalities here. They're towering over the body of a man who himself towered over their lives and ours and created more than a piece of history. There, the family ascends to take their seats at the podium.
Now, as we said, we will continue to hunt for people with information and uh, history around President Mugabe. And indeed, our team continues to do so. And we will continue to also look for authorities in the family to speak to who shall satisfy your need for information. A shot there of firstborn daughter Borna to the right and Robert Jr. to the left. That is Bellamine Chatunga, the youngest. Developing a bit of an itchy nose. And I think we, we're getting uh, proceedings about to start. And so we shall lend your ears to what is happening there at Trufaro Stadium as soon as we pick audio. ...now with the national anthem. Vanuese Ngati Sumgai for the national anthem, please. Warume to bisangwane. Lyrics were penned by Solomon Chairo and whose music was written by Fred Changundega. seems the organizers are still tinkering a bit with their PA system so that the rest of the world can get, get sound and as soon as they, they are organized we'll always be waiting. The moment this is just the uh, re uh, reciting of the national anthem, the singing of the national anthem, rather. Blessed be the land of Zimbabwe. Gai kumborir wengi kaya Zimbabwe. Gali busi swili swili Zimbabwe. Of course, that was commissioned on the 17th, if not the 18th, then of April 1994 at what was then the Sheraton in Harare. And there adorned on Chatunga's jumper there is that iconic signature of Robert Gabriel Mugabe. Very complicated cursive it was. And indeed, you may have seen that same complicated cursive of a uh, signature uh, on the number plates of quite a number of cars and the bodies of quite a number of cars that are on the entourage. 
that ferries mourners and at times the body of the deceased at this funeral. <laughs>